I have uh, one thing to say about elections. The lieutenant governor's job is to make sure that the election results are legal and trusted. Let me talk about trusted for a minute. Uh, in 1978, I was working with in the campaign for governor where close to a month after the election, we found 247 ballots in a locker here in the Mountain Musco Valley. We went to the court. We challenged the election. We found in 120,000 votes cast, over 10,000 ballots that had been improperly executed. We did an audit, and it was only with an audit that we found the absent ballots. Uh, we found ballots that were in barrels of seal oil in Quithlook. Uh, there, what we learned in that election was actually used in the Bush versus Gore challenge in Florida to make sure we have trusted elections. I've, I've, I've followed those issues for very long. I worked with uh, late Senator Tim Kelly, who set up a committee on that, on that issue to revise election legislation in the early 80s. Uh, we will enforce the law. The law right now uh, it, it looks a little loose. And I think we will look at ways we can tighten up the law to make sure that it is trusted. I think if we're seeing voter fraud or, or that sort of thing, to me, the ID issue is one potential. But one of the things that we also see is there's no way to audit the number of absentee ballots sent out versus that which come back. And sometimes they don't come back with postmarks. Sometimes they're, they're counted and, and you don't know if they've been posted after the election or not. Uh, that was a big issue that we found in the, in, in the late 70s that I don't think has been fixed. I agree with Jay on the language of, of uh, uh, initiatives. I think we, we face a very important issue. We have to maintain our constitutional right for uh, citizens to directly petition their government. You take issues where the people have overturned legislative acts, and believe me, there's a lot of legislative acts we do need to overturn, and I want to keep the initiative process there. The way we've tried to fix the initiative process this year actually will get the lieutenant governor out there and more involved. I frankly wish our previous lieutenant governors had pushed to get this parental uh, uh, notification initiative through the legislature more so that we're not having to vote on it now. I wish we had had some more legislative hearings on this gag issue that is before the ballot at this point. Uh, and some legislation that passed or th th that was discussed in this session does have, have uh, ways to, to, to fix that process, but we have to maintain our constitutional rights to overturn bad legislation, and that's why I very much support the initiative process overall.